It's no secret that things aren't exactly going well right now for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Phase 4 was an absolute nightmare, and Phase 5 got off to a terrible start as well. But don't forget, more is coming later this year. The Marvels releases in November, and I cannot imagine that it's going to do much better than a lot of the other disappointments that we've seen from the MCU lately. But they're doing their best they possibly can to promote it. Captain Marvel 2 makes Disney Plus history with cast. We've talked about all the diversity, the way this thing is being pushed. Well, they decided that for the promotion of this movie, apparently they weren't going to put forth too much of an effort. Best look at Miss Marvel's upgraded MCU costume revealed. Well, the way that it was revealed for Miss Marvel is a promotional poster. And if I show you guys this poster, which I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll down in a second. I'm going to show you this poster, and you're not going to believe that Marvel paid somebody to do this. It looks like a really bad Photoshop. It looks like not a professional person did this. Yet, nevertheless, here we are. This is the promotional poster for the Marvels that was just put out by a multi-billion dollar company. Here it is. The Marvels. Marvel Studios, the Marvels. In theaters. November 10th. This is it. I mean, it, it, they are, it, it's not even Photoshop. This is Canva. This is what I use. It's like the free version of Canva, the online editing software. It, they didn't even pay for this software, whatever they used to edit this. This is it. Miss Marvel standing there with, I think her costume actually looks worse than it did in her show, to be honest with you. Um, and Brie... <laughs> Brie right there and Nerd Cookies did this. I can't believe Nerd Cookies did this to Brie. Brie is not happy. Wherever she took that picture at, she was not happy that this picture got taken, okay? This thing is getting fucking roasted. Just look at the comments. I, I, haven't, I haven't gone through and bookmarked any of these. This is just what's coming up. Looks like three TikTok bimbos doing a collab. This looks like a low-budget cover for a 90s CD-ROM game. Uh, pff, this is going to fail big time. Uh, what do we got here? This is the laziest poster for a multi-million dollar project I've ever seen in my entire life. This looks like a poster for a superhero parody film. <laughs> graphic design is my passion. <laughs> the graphic design is my passion meme. That's what this looks like, to be honest with you. That's the amount of effort and energy that was put into this. It looks like Spy Kids. It looks like Power Rangers. They didn't even try. Graphic design is my passion again. Um... I'm sure we can go to quote tweets. I'm hoping that nothing pops up nefarious here. Um, well, there's Flash going to be a bad year for Disney. Mash the TDS right there. Uh, he's, there's Mark with a C. Disney not even trying anymore from Bleeding Fool. Incredibly low budget. Wonder who made this trash. Graphic design is my passion. <laughs> you could tell me this was a Spy Kid, Shark Boy, and Lava Girl spinoff, and I would believe you. Listen. You already have a lot of things working against you, Marvel. The least you could do is put the tiniest bit of effort and energy and investment. Maybe they don't have any money. Maybe that's the truth. Maybe they're out of fucking money. Maybe they had to have an intern do this on a laptop from 2013. Maybe that's what this is. Because this looks like the lowest effort shit that anybody's ever fucking seen. And uh, Disney rightfully is getting raked over the coals for it. Oh, man. The Marvels comes out in November, and I don't think it's going to make anything better for the Marvel Cinematic Universe.